Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart. Coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. So I'm gonna go over uh, unknown today, uh, the unknown, and I'm gonna pretty much talk on how um, how we have developed a fear for the unknown, fear to the unknown, and um, what happens when you start to dive into uh, the unknowns a little bit more often. And um, I'm gonna get more, I'm gonna get into this today. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, the unknown, right? The unknown is pretty much what is not known or what has been unknown. And um, the unknown is the most primal fear of men. Uh, and H.P. Lovecraft has said this. He uh, talked about the most primal fear of man being uh, the fear of the unknown. And um, this is why we fear death so much. Okay, there's multiple different fears um, or there's multiple different sources of fear. Or there's, uh, there, there's fear that emanates from, from many different uh, many different systems of root, you know, or rooting systems. Um, but when you really get down to, to the source or the core of it, it's, it's going to be uh, death, okay? And, and whenever you start to understand uh, why that it's death that brings about most of our fear is because um, it's unknown to us. And, and it's been made like this uh, for a specific reason, only because um, we're in this, this game, you know, we're in Maya and, and we're playing uh, in the matrix. So it's just so that we need to, uh, we've made it to where death is unknown. We've, we've made it to where it's not known to us. And um, because it's unknown, it's, it's uh, all of this fear is derived from, from death, you know, and, and uh, all the unknown about it. So, um, when you start to understand that all of the fear is, is, is arising from the unknown and, and uh, this is a very primal fear, you can start to work on facing uh, the unknowns, you know, or, or facing the fear of the unknown. And once you're able to start doing this, once you start um, facing the unknowns or, or, or start to uh, face the fear of the unknown, you know, uh, something very, very, very uh, profound happens. It's like, as you start to face the fear of the unknown, you start to shift in dimension as well, because um, as you start to dissolve away that fear, you start to shift from a third dimensional level to a higher dimensional level where, where there is no fear. So what you really got to do is you got to find the source of fear and you got to uh, understand it a little bit more. Okay, um, you got to understand it. You got to look at it in multiple different dimensions. Uh, in order to see that it is not something to be feared. Because um, nothing should really be feared. Uh, everything is pretty much divine design. 
you know, and, and uh, at the end of it, it's all just energy or electromagnetic energy. And um, it doesn't actually, we don't actually die. It's just more of a state or, or a process of transformation that we go through. You know, we, we transform, we transcend this form and we take on another form and then it manifests itself in infinite different forms for eternity. You know, um, and this is the dreamlike nature of existence. So, so as man, as, as, a, as, as a, a species, we are, we're very afraid of the unknown, okay? And what we need to understand is that we can work on, on dissolving away that fear by jumping into the unknowns a little bit more often and having that faith that it's gonna be okay because it is going to be okay when you jump into the abyss. It's bottomless, you know, there's nothing to really fear just um it's more of just some type of of limitation that we've grown uh throughout our um <clears throat> our our development as a species you know which is that that fear of the unknown uh which also arises the fear of death and then with the fear of death all of the other fears you know of of everything else you know it can be spiders it can be like uh monsters Whatever uh, these fears may be, they're all emanating from death. And then, and then the, the fear of death, it comes from the fear of the unknown. Because death is very unknown to us. Because it's been made unknown. Uh, because we're in this maya, we're in the illusion. And it needs to be made unknown. That way it stays an illusion. You know, uh, and we stay in maya. But you can always go beyond that if you choose so. You know, and that's what uh, comes with facing the fear of the unknowns because you start to dissolve away the one of the source of fear. Um, and, and as you dissolve that away, you start to shift in vibration. You start to shift in dimension and you uh, come out of the third dimension, which is uh, it, it, it thrives off of lower vibrations, which is pretty much fear and, and all of the other lower vibrations that come along with it. You know, uh, all of this is third dimensional. And once you start going higher in dimensionality, uh, it dissolves away completely along with death. Um, and along with unknown, uh, you start to traverse the unknown a lot more and you start to uh, understand it a lot more. And um, it, it, it arises something very profound within you. You know, uh, you start to come into connection with source once again and you start to uh, you start to uh, realize your supernatural abilities once again uh, you start to you start to uh, pull in all of this information that was what that was unknown and uh, it, it's now made known to you you know it's like it's just all within a, a type of 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 um it's in with it's within a type of of universal uh system you know where all of this information is just there for the taking but it's just unknown to you you know uh and you can always make it known by by diving into the unknown and and uh coming to unveil it once again okay uh and and it's pretty much the akashic the akashic records you know, all of this experience uh, it, it is there, you know, for the taking that is um, from all of existence. Everything that has ever been is just there for us to, to, to bring and express outwards, you know. And um, for most people, it's unknown, you know, and, and we have this fear of the unknown. It's a natural fear that we have developed so it pretty much creates a, a type of blockage or a type of uh, repulsion to being able to access uh, something like the Akashic Records you know and once you start diving into the unknowns a little bit more often or facing your fear of it you're going to be able to to um, 
access the Akashic Records. And then you're going to be able to make what was unknown previously uh, known. And then you're going to start um, getting into more holier states. You know, you're going to be one with existence more. And you're going to be more enlightened. And you can provide liberation. You can uh, do these types of things for people um, out of your natural flow, you know. But that's pretty much going to be it for the video today. I just wanted to talk a little bit on unknown and facing the, the fear of the unknown. It's the most primal. So um, it, it, it's hard to get, it's hard to face the fear. But naturally it, it comes uh, to those who need to, you know, uh, to face the fear. It'll just happen with one step, you know, out of nowhere. It's like, okay, most of your life you're, you're afraid of what is unknown, but then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, you just, um, you just take the step or you just take the leap, you know, into the unknown. Um, and you don't even know, how, you don't even know why it's just something that happens of itself, you know, and then things start to shift from there quantumly or, or dramatically, you know. But that's going to be it for today's video. Once again, I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to subscribe for more daily content. Drop a like, comment down some love, information to share as well. Peace out. Generate some static electricity from the etheric body or the first layer of the aura. One love and have a great morning.